Hey everybody, XCI here. Welcome back to Mass Effect 2. Here we have Joshua Cuddy Shepard. I did not feed my fish, so I'm just gonna do that while I'm doing the intro. I am going to be pushing the Strong Team Mule. It's a side mission um, while we're doing planet scans this episode. I just wanna make sure I keep my pit, my fish alive. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to make light to you. I know it doesn't matter, but it matters to me in my heart. Please say it, say it, say it. Thank you, okay, let's go. And I want to um, I will push talks later on after we push a couple more major things. I, I'm not I'm not really seeing where more major things would be. I outside going to that main plot. Um, so okay, let's we're done with this one. Let's go to Batala. Let's do 100% of this entire system here, man. Uh, it's doing good. Uh, we got a lot of resources if we want to get them. Oops, I'm probably gonna need. Uh, I can make it back. I can make it back to the relay. That's this is the biggest run I've done with Gat, like the biggest like yeah, run I've done with fuel in the entire game. We have Nirog. Nirog is a hydrogen methane gas giant whose moons were once home to Isul, a Vatarian warlord who terrorized the Terminus systems. Attempted to unite a pirate army under his banner, he successfully conducted a rapid blitz against eleven habitable war uh, planets. Fortunately for the rest of the galaxy, Asul's crimes caught the attention of the Spectres, who deducted his hidden location and assassinated him. Asul's empire, built on a hyperextended army, soon came crashing down. His lost stockpiles of Element Zero have become something of a legend, and foolish spacers have spent countless amounts of time and money searching the Vitala system, convinced they will be the ones that finally strike it rich. The second planet in this system, Thuna Wunruro. Please don't make me say that again. You are going to make me say that again. Okay, a strange island of peace in the lawless terminus system. Thunururunoro is a planet of crushing gravity but abundant life and abundant letters in its name. As its ponderous name indicates, it was colonized by the Elcor because they don't understand how letters come together to form things that other people have to pronounce. That one. Who have several booming industries on the planet. Hydroelectric dams and biofuels from tough wooden algae provide much of the planet's energy. Mines export uranium, thorium, and gold, taken to space with generous use of Mass Effect fields. Of course, pirates target the Alcor shipping as soon as it leaves orbit, but the Alcor's deal with mercenary companies keep away all but the most foolhardy, foolhardy attackers. What will you have for me? Oh, I'll be back with a lot of Element Zero, hopefully. Well, thank you, Thuna Wanaru. That was a good pull right there of Element Zero. Oh, there's another, oh, look at that. I didn't even see this thing because of the glare. Okay, third one, my bad. Logosiri, a step above a carbonaceous asteroid. Logosiri is a planet with a carbon heavy crust and a trace atmosphere of CO2 and helium. Its surface is cool enough to have liquid water, but it is rapidly dying out as it has lost the critical mass to have self-sustaining uh, have a self-sustaining hydrologic cycle. Nevertheless, the Vitarians have colonized the world, forcing slaves to work in their mines and agri-habitats. The labor is hot, endless, and backbreaking, even in its low G environment. Every horror story told by slaves elsewhere in the cluster seems to be topped by one from Logosiri. The most famous is that of slaver Selperon, who worked to death 420 slaves over the course of a galactic standard year and ground up their bodies for compost in his greenhouses. <laughs> wow. He was eventually poisoned by his wife, but his shadow and his business model still hangs over the miserable planet. Good lord. Alright, what's at this planet? A planet with nothing of use but with a cool story, and that's why I love reading the lore on these planets. It, I mean, literally, that doesn't matter. It does not matter. I could just run. Let's just check it this way. I was going to check the outer edge there for zeros, but I know. I know, Edie. We're on our way back, and I th think that's it. The Omega Nebula is complete. I, I am very happy. <laughs> very happy with myself. Let's go with Fuel Depot. Let's just recharge the fuel here. Recharge. Refuel. Um, and as for probes, sure, let's get ourselves, there we go, to 59, and let's mass relay the hell out of here. I'm going to go after, do, 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 there's a false signal right there. Oh, there's still the crashed ship. 
Okay, let's go to the false signal. Sigurd's cradle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, it's gonna be a planet scanning episode for sure. So let's go to Kaimowitz. Named for the 21st century pioneer of groundwater remediation techniques, Kamowitz is an impressive layer of ice cover, uh, uh, ice over a stony metallic core. Despite its size, it has only one moon, Noah, which shares its carbonaceous, carbonaceous composition, leading astronomers to believe it formed following a giant impact. Iridium deposits have attracted miners to the planet who must work through robots and telepresence because of the planet's strong gravity rich element zero please i mean we went from 11 to 17 now and that one planet was pretty good it's pretty, it's pretty good pretty good but alas no element zero okay bye bye kaimowitz let's go to the ringed planet of pauling a hydrogen methane gas planet pauling's gravitational field is believed to have cleared most of what would otherwise have been a sizable asteroid belt the 2163 mission of the space probe ultimate gave the inhabitants of austin reams of data reinforcing the, this theory giving the colonists an accurate count of its moon 66 rings moon-like ring objects and more than 200 impact craters on the surface of its metallic core ultimate has been since retrieved for reuse on subsequent missions within the solar system it's a poor planet not even sure why i would bother to give it well i mean element zero on a poor planet i would probably sacrifice a probe to it but let's move on we have crick simple planet names i like that Known for spectacular geysers that can be seen from orbit, Crick is a rock planet with expansive, with expansive frozen oceans. Though it's within the temperature and pressure range for human habitation, its thick atmosphere is largely carbon dioxide and monoxide, making breath mass and environmental suits mandatory. The most abundant resources for exploration, sorry, the most abundant resources for exploitation are the potassium salts found in its seabeds which fetch good prices on terraforming worlds so we're gonna get a lot of the stuff we don't need it's a rich planet of course next ring in oh look at that little moon right there i would have missed too but that's cool i mean i probably missed those along the way for sure i think i caught one way back when we have watson here watson is known in human media for two things it's spectacular tides brought on by a large moon and the bureaucratic snafu over which earth's nations got to settle there first so it is earth stuff watson is a garden world first discovered in 2165 ce with credit claimed by the chinese people's federation the united north american states and the european union the systems alliance brokered the infamous rak rakchevik compromise allowing limited colonization for each coalition in cities com comprised of populations from each nation. Watson itself trends colder than Earth with a temperate zone measuring about 30 degrees latitude in either direction from the equator. Its life does not easily map to Earth's evolutionary eras. Some islands have species that resemble terrestrial placental mammals, others are overrun by anthropods. It is estimated that at least two more generations of xeno xenozoologists will be needed to properly classify all the species of the planet wow so it's like a legitimate oh well, that'd be fun I, to land I, would, I like to land here anyways wow there's a couple thoughts that were going on in my head right there i don't do well when i have to organize multiple that's okay i'll be back my goodness that was the the biggest element zero yield that i recall and uh isn't element zero like uh, distinctly tied to like the whole biotic thing like I wonder if the lore has anything where there's where they got they got a lot of like biotics coming from Watson. I don't know, man. Detected. There we go, Franklin. A large moon, Franklin retains a trace of atmosphere of carbon dioxide, but its desolate surface holds no signs of water or life. In order to defend Watson from the pirates of the Terminus system, Franklin is home to two Alliance spaceports and naval bases capable of fielding six fighter squadrons each in a classified number of interplanetary ballistic missiles. Mass effect fields keep the gravity in its installations at a comfortable level for long-term living did they get overrun by batarians Okay. 
So something definitely went down here. Okay, cool. Scans have found something. Anomaly detected. Scans detected an alliance colony defended by a Javelin MK2 missile base. A distress signal indicates that the base is compromised by Batarians who have launched two missiles at the alliance colony. Total destruction of the colony is imminent. Zero probability of survivors if missile strikes. Okay. If missile strike. Find the control panel in the Javelin MK2 missile base. Time of impact calculated landing party will have five minutes to deactivate the missiles after shuttle touchdown <laughs> seems eminent but I'm uh, gonna scan first <laughs> I'm right back. super strange plant to put rich on because there were even there were very rare like peaks even for rich plant so I guess whatever those peaks were carried a lot of it was iridium I think me let's do a quick side mission here shall we who am I gonna take Let's play around. Well, it's Alliance. Well, I don't really. I don't have anyone who cares. I mean, my old, my old group. But I'm gonna play around with Jack and Samara. Yeah. Let's go. Let's biotic power. Let's do a biotic, and I think they're both decent. Ooh, Reeve though, and warp ammo. Uh, versus pull. Hold on, let me read this again. Transforms absorbed biotic energy into heavier damage against health on. So, not shields. Yeah, just, mm, just dawned on me. They don't really have anything against shields, huh? But this Reeve ability. I sort of like that Reeve ability. I will put that. I'll, I'll make Jack do the pull. I think everything else is fine. I do like the uniqueness of the side missions in Mass Effect 2, like, versus, or compared to Mass Effect 1, where everything felt, God damn it, where everything felt very repetitious. That does stay on, huh. Okay, let's go. Someone got their Oh, okay, I, I didn't hear what Edie said now, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, didn't hear what she said, I'm sorry. Well, uh, let me tell you what I think of this. You guys are going to get screwed off. Oh, screwed off. Oh, shit. <laughs> nope, you can stay down. I think it's time to go, right? We're on a timer here. I think we're done. Wait, what's this way? For? Oh, Jesus, man. My mouse, I can't move my... I can't... I can't why, why are you not moving my... Why is my screen doing this right now? Well... Sorry to be you. Oh, good. Wait. Can I reload and then thank you? Let's go. That door doesn't look openable. Hey, guys. Didn't make it, huh? Ah. Uh, oh, okay. Never mind. Bypass. Man, I hope the timer doesn't go on behind this. I probably only noticed that in post now, but I really hope not because the double timer doesn't do wonder. I'm sure there'll be an attack here, so let me just do that real quick. Okay, let's get some biotic craziness happening here. I love the shockwave thing, but I don't know if it works on, on paths like this where it goes down and up. I, I actually don't. I actually don't. Here, let's go with a let's go with a throw here. Throw is pretty friggin' it, it looks abusive. Like it looks really good. Um Yeah, so I, I like that quite a bit. What else? Can we oh there's uh loot Wow, being in the well No, it's just some Mars in the open. That's ammo right there. I'm gonna make a run for that ammo. Uh, I think we probably Oh shit. Okay, uh, you're good. Why can't I? Sorry, Wait, this one. Protected by shields. <laughs> gotcha. Okay, no problem. Not anymore, you're not. There you go. You, you guys take care of the rest. I'm gonna make a run for it. Yep. I'm gonna start moving. I'm gonna start 
seeing what the hell we're dealing with here. Are you still alive? Are you too st Here, hold on. While I'm moving, can I get you guys set up to do things? How am I supposed to get that ammo? Maybe I don't need it. Let's go. Okay, you know what? Just come with me. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 Oh my god, three minutes. Um, I gotta, I gotta keep going. I gotta keep going. I've lost someone. Fuck. Ah. Ah. Samara. Ah, I'm so afraid. Samara, come back to me, Samara. Oh, it does go through things. Okay, it goes through walls. I had to. I just had to check there. I just had to throw, throw that some bitch. Throw that. Clear my path. Let go of the. Let go of the fucking crate. Coyote. 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 God damn it. Coyote. God damn it. Coyote. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, this is totally not fair. <laughs> it's totally not fair. <sighs> it's not the first time that shit's happened, man. It is to I don't care. I might have to start this over because of this shit. Two minutes left. Okay, well, let's see if I can... I'm just panicking now. I really should just be using this stuff still. Hell, I don't even know if they're under... If they're covered. I don't know right now. I just need to not be hurting like this. Thank you. Are we good? You know, here, can you please come to me? Just just come to me. Just come to me. Because I, I I don't know what the hell's... Fuck it, just stay down. Oh my god, is this an endless wave? Or what in the hell is happening here? Throw that some bitch. Thank you. Well, there's ammo over there. I'm not going to go for the ammo. I'm going to go. There's ammo right here. And I'm... And I feel like I just need to... I just need to... I just need to move this. Thank you. Oh my god. That's insane. Holy shit balls of fire. Fuck you. Oh. <laughs> please, please be clear. Please be clear. Good, let's go. Uh, let's do a reload here. Two minutes. Are you hackable? No. I got, I should probably, uh, please right. on me. Agree. Oh, I got a head rush, man. Oh, good. Dead end. Wonderful. That's exactly what I need. Okay, uh, dead end. I gotta go this way. Fuck the ammo. 150. Okay, uh, let's get going. What? But I click. Never mind. <laughs> oh, timers. Oh, timers. You are the death of me. Oh, I don't like small cover. Remember the thing with me and small cover? I don't like. I don't like it. I, oh, good. They're nowhere near me. That's that's great. Uh oh. Are we good? Oh, we're good. Oh, we're good. Kill switch. Yeah. Kill switch. Oh. Okay, we might still fail this. Hold on. Pay attention here. I'm gonna shut up for a sec. On one green line, you son of a bitch. Come on, one green line, you son of a bitch. There is only one remaining kill switch code. What? Therefore, only one missile can be stopped. Use the kill switch code to save your selected target. What? Spaceport Industrial District apply kill switch to protect alliance interests and tactical viability, albeit at the cost of hundreds of lives in the city. Residential District. Missile 2 target capital city apply kill switch here to save the city and hundreds of lives with its industrial area destroyed. However, this colony will no longer be viable and will have to be evacuated. Save the capital city. We've done it. Save the civilians. That sucks. Got such a head rush.
to hold to... Oh, I could, okay, so I could have looted after without panicking. <laughs> okay, well, now I know. <laughs> panicked. I panicked. But I'm gonna double check. I'll be right back. Okay, check the entire board. There was nothing here. A lot of ammo, and just the, the, the fact that there were so many layers on that board, like you could crawl on crates. There's ammo on crates. There's just ammo everywhere. Let's get out of here. Leave. Well, I wonder what that will do. I'm sure that will have... It's a side mission. Nah, I'm sure it'll have an effect on it. ME3 or something like that. Prevent a Batarian radicals from destroying colony on Franklin. Well, they essentially did, because now they got to evacuate, but whatever. Protect the colony, right? But, eh, sorry. When you sign up for the military, you know that sometimes it's not going to, right? But civilians don't sign up for that crap, so that's the coyote method. Uh, decision. That's just the way that they held to make a decision. Eh, again, not, not too much money, but... It's done. It's cool, you got to learn a little bit more about Batarians. Not learn, but experience more about Batarians in the system, which you didn't really get a lot. You didn't get anything of in Mass Effect 1. I think someone told me in the comments that there was a DLC, though, for Mass Effect 1 that does go a little bit more into the Batarian stuff or introduces them or something. I mean, like, you know of them, but yeah, I don't remember you dealing with them in Mass Effect 1. No messages for you, Commander. Thank you, Kelly. Uh, did I get any upgrades? I didn't. And I just noticed every time I come into the Normandy's when my mouse goes off the screen. Okay. Um, yeah, I think, I think, I mean, I've probably got a lot of planet scanning to cut around. So let's just, uh, yeah, let's check the journal. Uh, the journal is good. So let's just get back in here, shall we? I'm sure I've got, I mean, I still got planet scanning to do anyway. So let's do this one right here. Darwin. A mid-sized rock planet, Darwin is ironically named being one of the worst places for life in the galaxy. Its atmosphere is punishing, its temperature boiling, its chemical makeup toxic. Carbon monoxide and methane warp the planet in an unyielding haze, and scans of its surface show only silicates and molten tin. Its daily thermal fluctuations lead to hurricane-level vortices, vortices? Uh, two at each pole forming eyes that can be seen from orbit. Despite all this, Darwin is still used by spacers as a drive core discharge point. Hydrogen piercing pierces the clouds and the upper atmosphere, making for a relatively benign approach. Do you have element zero, Darwin? And finally, we have this big-ass planet here called Wallace. An unusually small pegasid or hot Jupiter. Wallace was originally an extrasolar planet that entered the system and was captured by the gravity well of the G-class star Skepsis. Tidally locked, Wallace's hot side reaches temperatures over 2500 degrees Celsius. While not large enough proportionate to the star to cause eclipses visible from Watson, it is easily seen at dawn or dusk as one of the brightest objects in the sky. I mean, it's super bright. Even my eyes are lit, lit like they're lit. I'm getting bothered by it. Do you have element zero? I can't. I, I, I can't even look at the wreck of the planet. I'm out of here. I'm going to get a mind grain here. Okay, so we have another one over here. So let's, uh, let's see what we're doing. Probes are okay. I'm sure I'm not going to be throwing down 50, 53 probes. We have Decorus. Disable false signal. Okay, then. Let's see if we could get another side mission out of the way, shall we? Oops. Like it. I love to throw away fuel like this. I love it. Love it. Sanctum. Let me go over here first. That's just named because. Okay, it's boy the mission. It's because, of, because we came in. It doesn't matter. Lena. Cloaked. Is a methane clouded hothouse planet. Its lack of metal rich. Uh, core and significant magnetosphere allows for an easy scan, which reveals mining equipment on its surface. It can be deducted that this mining occurred within the last five years. Any longer, and the machines would have been worn down to nothing but the excessive heat and dust storms of hot iron oxide. Do you have element zero? You're rich. It is a rich planet without element zero. It would also be funny if I, I don't need any more element zero than what I have. But because I don't know, I'm just going to keep searching for element zero. Just in case I want to switch powers to along the way. But. Sanctum. Sanctum is proof of the old spacer adage, 
Just because it's called a garden world doesn't mean it's a picnic. Freezing ice storms cover the poles and temperate zones, leaving a narrow strip of habitable land at the equator. Dry but windy, this area is home to Sanctum's minimal terrestrial plant life. The planet has yet to develop land-based animals, though invertebrate grow quite large in its pelagic pelagic seas pelagic seas whatever <laughs> mining referred to as ice cracking at anywhere but the equator is a common employment on sanctum the planet is rich in platinum and palladium deposits as well as barren as well as boron which is lo locally used in semiconductor doping God, there's a lot of words here that I just don't care for. Travel advisory carbon dioxide levels on Sanctum can reach 5,000 parts per million during thermal in inversions. Travelers should carry a breath mask at all times and consult the Sanctum World Weather Service for warnings. Travel advisory piracy is at a 14-year global high on Sanctum. Visitors should take appropriate security precautions. Let's start scanners here. Tunnels. I can make out what they it's tunnels. Alright, let me get this on the zero and then we'll uh, we'll nail the anomaly. Oh I just realized that the audio is like uh, the understandability of the audio is relative to how close your scan is to the actual probe. It just hit me. It just hit me, but if you get here you can actually understand. Anyways, a lot of uh, elements here. I have found something. That's cool. Distress beacon detected on initial sweep is confirmed to be a fabrication set in place to alert unsuspecting ships into orbit for pirate ambush. Preliminary scans indicate that shutting down false distress beacon will stop the Blue Sun's transmission and disable their ambush site. Surface scans show Blue Sun communication signatures concentrated around a shuttle bay hangar. I'm just gonna just go gonna go nail them now. We're gonna take. I haven't taken Crunt for a while. Blue Suns. Garrus. Grunt, my man. How are you? Oh, you're not doing that bad. Ooh, fortifi fortification, though. I think maybe I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with tank for you. I'm going to go up this track right here. Uh, I do want to just... Yep, Claymore and Garrus Mantis. Oops, sorry. Never mind. Uh, yep. Yeah. <clears throat> Another unique looking board. I like it. Oh, are you are you just gonna talk? Oh wait, no, I've seen something like this. This might be sort of. I think I saw a dude run away from us like that before, right? This might be a repeated. This Heads might, up. Might, maybe? I don't know, but tell you what, my Krogan is gonna go somewhere up there. <laughs> Let's just see how he does, shall we? Let's do that right there, and heavy, uh, armor and health. I can't even see them right now, so, uh, let me just get, oops, doesn't matter, actually. That's not gonna make it, there's no way, yeah, you suck at that. But seriously, let me, can I please, Wooden. there we go. Oh, I see, he probably wasn't moving because it didn't really start, start, I don't know. Here, let's now do... Concussive shot. Uh, is that all I can aim for? Fine. Firing eye impact. Back shot. There we go. What the hell is happening? Why can't? Why is that guy not getting hurt? <laughs> I love that he's way the fuck up there. It's so good. It's it just it, it doesn't feel right, but it works because it's. Because he's awesome. I am going to incinerate one of these bitches. Here. Pop. This should slow him down. He's just fortifying, holding his own, doing his thing. Uh, but I do feel like maybe I will. I'll move Garrus up and I'll move up as well. Fuck it. Here. Let's just do that, shall we? Nothing can hurt me. I know, right? You're awesome. Firing eye. Why are you getting up, man? Come on. 
Yes. God, I love him. Actually, these two guys right here, I think. Because you can put, he can throw them up front. So he's both taking some of that aggro, but he's he can deliver damage too, grunt. And then you you have Garrus back there with me as like in sniper positions, just pinging people off. I think it's gold. You could switch out Garrus for Thane, and I think it would work just as wonderful. Well. Just landed outside the southern entrance. Get out there and take them out now. Too late. Be alert. I mean. And we're done. Concerns over employee safety. The Broadfield mining facility has been closed until further notice. <clears throat> uh, here, let's go with uh, Garrus. You're gonna line up with me, and of course the Krogan. Yeah, yes, he can. Okay, shields. Let's try to deal with this. Overload. Um, and I'm gonna dodge the cards here. Hi. Sure, let's go with that right there. On the ground now. Why are you down there, Grunt? I depend on you. Can you, Grunt? Can you try that again, please, for me? I know it sucks. It's sort of like really deadly. Where? Uh, and you're still up here with me. Great. How's he doing though? Is he doing good? I'm sure he is. I'm sure he is. Here, let's throw one of these in there. Let's see if that works. Nah, it he the range is not that good. Maybe it does depend on le on levels, you know? Just insane. It's just insane. Oops, oops, oops. What less to worry about? Wow, that's just horrible shooting right there. Holy shit. Um, that door is closed. Oh. Looks like, is that the guy from Doom? Doom? Wolfenstein? Right? The, the main character, doesn't he have like, all right, with like, green armor? <laughs> it's been a long time. I'm talking the original here, not the new one. Please, yes. Any hackables? No. Closure notice. Oh, right here. Due to Phillips' brilliant expansion of the northern mining tunnels into the mess hall last week, our small facility will be closing indefinitely. All teams will be transferred to the nearest starbase shortly. The objective is behind me, which is why I'm coming this way first, if you're wondering why I changed my mind there. Wall safe. because I keep forgetting to do that and using that as a sort of guide. But I probably should. Is there Are there more circles on this one or am I just... No, it's the same symbol. So I felt like that for some reason felt like there was an extra two in there or something. Okay, good. Let's take some more money here. Uh, nothing there. Oh, what's this? Hey, cousin. That jerk Selim just fired me for no reason. I swear the guy has it out for me. I hear the Blue Suns are hiring people to take out some dumbass vigilante on Omega. I'm gonna go show them how it's done. Wish me luck. Garrus? <laughs> uh... That was, that just... It had to be. It had to be. Okay. Let's do a quick reload again here. Just in case. I think things are about to go down. Nope. Yep. But what in the how did I not in the crotch? In the crotch. Time to hit. Never mind. Just, it just doesn't matter. I love this gun. I love this guy. I love that I can just spin. Oh, but I'm out. Okay. Uh, now let's see if I can actually. Have to reposition myself. Uh -huh. No, just like go Cover. well into there, man. For me, please. Here, right here. No, Got we're it. good. We're done. Okay. Uh, sorry. Hold on. Sorry. 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 Let's go over here.
Ammo, please. No, nothing. Okay, then. I am going to save. Because I'm getting a little bit overconfident with these two. And I'm pushing very aggressively here. Iridium. The hell, man. I'm on it, behind you. How far does this go, man? The thing with this board, man, is I, I don't see anybody. I don't know why there'd be anyone here, but then they just pop up on you. Can I do anything? With, oh, these just lights, okay. More iridium. Some doors over there, good. Something over here, too, data pad. So, iridium. We've got a major hall coming in from that dig site, boys. Move all the unsorted cargo to the mines to make room. Oh, I see those are power cells. Got it. Understood. Okay, okay. Now, uh, before I push forward, let me do, do this a different way, please. That's... Wherever you are, you won't make it out of here alive. Are you sure about that? I'm going to take position here. You're going to run in right. there. Uh, I don't want to put Garrus there. I feel like that's a bad idea, but for now, I am. I'm on it. Nothing. <gasps> Oops. Uh, just busted up that cinematic. What the shit? Okay, okay, okay. I thought they were like, like no, these look like different units. These don't, they don't look like the uh, the other ones. They've seen them. I am not in a good place right there. Um, okay, now I'm not too worried. There are two of them though, Garrus. You are not in a good place. That blows up right there. Er, I think you need to come hang with me right here. Uh, that's not going to give you a shot. Mm -mm. No, I hate this. What I'm about to have to do, but I have to get Garrus into my location, which means I'm going to lose. Some opportunities here. I got to override. Okay, let's do an overload here. So overload. Let's overpower those shields. Let's go try. Let's just pull out here. And now let me reposition Garrus. Um, I mean you're tough, dude, but I don't think you're tough enough to be Brown. running up against those things. So I'm going to put Grunt up here. I'm going to reposition Moving to cover. here. Let's see if I can pull something off here. Um, nope, okay, not what I intended right there, but I didn't. I intended that to blow up, but you guys cool, man? I sort of. I can't really see what the fuck. Okay, so uh, overload again. What the shit? Did that not work? Let me get closer. I need a closer look here. Okay, or climb over the damn thing. I hate when he does that, but okay. Bad, bad, bad. Bat, 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 <laughs> bat, 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 oh, blow up a container, bad, but I need to see them, man, uh, shields, fucking overload those goddamn shields, man, um, armor, oh, oh, I see, maybe I got this guy with an overload, probably, uh, Oh, please don't blow me up. Oh my god, I gotta move. Oh, shit. No. Can I get over this wall? No, I can't. I can't. I can't get over the wall. Ah, no, 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 no. I can't get behind that. Wow, I, this is a goddamn disaster for, for Shepard. Holy shit. Okay, so... Oh, shields are back. Oh, and I've lost. It's okay. It's okay. I can get this back on track here. I get this back on track here. I just need him to come up. The fucking go off! That's right, it's going go off. That means you back up here. Oh, Sometimes you just gotta commit. <laughs> commit to the Viper, trust in the Viper. <laughs> Let it do it. Oh shit, Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, okay then. Okay. Go oh, fuck. fuck. 
We've got this shit. We've got this. You know what? No more blowy up things in there, so there. Grunt, go. Uh, and you. Right on your ass! Where you at? Come on. <laughs> this is a goddamn disaster. Oops, I didn't mean to do that shit. Oh, that's okay. Whatever. It's a waste, but... This should slow him down. Trouble! Let's go! <laughs> trouble. The middle name is Trouble. Give me the Sammo. Give me the Sammo. Pitch. Gotta get some coyote-ness in there. <laughs> At least a little bit. I could have killed myself there, but that was worth it. That was worth it. I absolutely have a headache right now. <laughs> I have I thought I saw something pop up here. Do I have something I can take here? Woo! Ooh, look at those things. Give me one of those planes. Good job, guys, man. Good job, guys. It's a little bit more chaotic than I need it to be. I could have controlled that much better. Well, safe. Okay. Whew, let's slow down now. Let's just take a break. Let's just steal everything from these guys, shall we? What am I missing here? Oh, there's a door here. Am I... What's on this side? I don't know why. I keep hitting tab. I haven't played Dragon Age in a long time. There's no reason why I should be hitting tab anymore. But I do. It's just wired in me. Oh, I guess they tried to... Yeah, sorry, dude. Uh, interrogation logs. Client, agent incoming. An agent from the prospective client arrived today. The client has asked for discretion, which raised a few red flags. Uh, on Commander Santiago's suggestion, I plan to persuade the agent to divulge the nature and location of the cargo. Santiago, huh? Well, that didn't take long. The client's agent folded under minimum pressure. Commander Santiago's hunches was hunch was correct. The client hopes to hire us to move a Prothean artifact from the dig site. With a little more pressure, the agent should gladly give up the location of the dig site. Didn't we do that? It took some persuasion, but the agent gave up the location of the dig site. I'm dispatching ships and men to the location now. Santiago ought to be pleased. That Prothean artifact is worth more than we'd ever get to transporting it. Oh, am I uh, completing these out of continuity at this point? Because Santiago is behind that one dig site that had the, the protein artifact that we recovered for Cerberus. A long time ago now. At least in game time. It feels like a long time ago. Or at least, sorry, real time. Probably in game time too. Oh, there are a variant, very, a variant amount of those things. Distress beacon control. Give me a sec here. Just let me just be thorough because I know I did the everything else, or I feel at least I checked the other stuff thoroughly. Oh, hey, dude, you can phase now. Cool. That should do it. Badass jump. Mission summary deactivated distress beacon at Runefield Mining Facility. Eliminated Blue Sun's resistance. We got 125 against money, iridium. But I feel like this does come. So it's still throwing me off though because I thought Zaid was the one who introduced Santiago into the story. I thought it was Zaid's mission. And I thought there was a choice there where I could have killed him or maybe I. I I let him get away or something? Anyways. I have to presume not. Uh, messages, Kelly? No messages for Thank you, Commander. Uh, did I... And again. Every time. Did I get anything new? I, I feel like I'm a little bit thrown off now because I've done a couple side missions. But, oh, yep, prototypes. My bad. My bad. Yup, oh, I'm such a, a goof. Okay, so I was 50%. I thought it was 20%. Heavy bone weave. Oh, is a new one. Booyah! 
Palladium, waste that. Waste that shit. Okay, uh, prototypes and review. And no, I'm good with everything else. Whew, man, okay, this is uh, recording for a long time because of the planet scanning. Uh, so I'm going to just, I'm going to no start. For you, I, got, I got it the first time. I'm going to wrap this one up here, of course, after feeding the fish because I didn't go the last side mission. I thought I didn't see anything for a second there. I thought they were all dead. Hey, buddy. And I think now I'm, I'm, I guess I'm still working my way towards Tuchunka, but plan is getting along the way. So they, I thought it wouldn't, I mean, there's a lot of planets out there. I don't know why I thought there wasn't going to be a lot to do. I didn't, I didn't anticipate hitting these side missions and then wanting to trigger them and do them. So, um, so let me just take a look at that before moving forward. We have, to, I have to go to Citadel and I have to go to Ilium. So maybe I'll do a jump all the way to Tuchunka of the, of the shops. Do this side mission here. I gotta go to the Citadel there anyway, so I can get a second assignment done. Um, and then I got the two DLCs, but I'm, so more planet scanning on the way to shopping and doing some cleanup on just making sure we have as much gear as possible before I move on. Uh, and I'm sure Shadow Broker and Overlord will have some awesome stuff too to take away. But these side missions don't—they're not really that demanding, and so I just uh, I'm just trying to do a little bit of buffer, some buffer stuff along the way and. I don't know, just work my way up towards completionist. I know you can't do 100%, but I just want some of the side stuff and get some of those like science things out of the way. I want as much as possible. So I will talk to you next episode. Don't forget to explore, engage, inspire, everybody. Peace.